this is Craig from Guitar Lava. Today we're going to talk about a sliding technique that I first really came across in Jeff, Speck, Jeff Beck's Blow by Blow album. And I just thought it was really cool and it's really, it's one of those things you can work on. It'll add some color to your solos. Um, and let's just get started. This is what it sounds like to begin with. You work it slow and then you work the speed up. Okay, we're gonna start with sliding up. So this is really just a G scale. We'll just stop there. G, A, B, C, D, E. And then we'll come back here. That's three, five, seven. They're the only notes we're going to use. We'll end up doing two octaves of those. So we'll start with sliding up. We're going to start on the fifth fret and slide up to the seventh. Make it one fluid motion. And we'll slide down to the third from the fifth. And we'll do it all together. And just practice that on one, one string. Notice my right hand. We'll jump up to the next string, do exactly the same thing, same frets. Let's put those two together. Now we're going to move up to an octave, do octaves exactly the same thing, it's just going to be an octave. So we'll jump up from the seventh to the ninth and the seventh to the fifth. And then the same thing on the next string. Then we'll put those together. Let's put those two patterns together now. And when you change strings, just slide the whole way up. It really just makes as long as it's in time, you just want to make sure that you land on that ninth fret. And then we're going to go up another octave. And that's 10 up to 12. 10 down to 8. 10 up to 12. 10 down to 8. So. Now you can go up and come down and do the same thing. It's a, it's a little different, a little awkward, but it's a great exercise for you to practice so that your hands, once again, we're trying to get our hands and our mind and just to do something different. You just don't want to keep doing the same thing and get stuck in a rut. This will actually, it might be a little hard but it'll be something good that you can work on. So I actually used this in one of my songs and um, it took me a little while to actually get it down, but I really like the effect of it. So slide down. Slide down, slide up, slide down. So, I mean, that's one practical use you can use it, but it's still, it's a really cool thing. I, I like to practice it also with the minor pentatonic scale. Mix it all up. 
I'm Craig from Guitar Lava. I hope you enjoy this video. It's just something else you can add to your riff repertoire and give you something interesting to play. Catch you later.